హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ భూమి వరల్డ్ హోప్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఈజ్ డూయింగ్ గ్రేట్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావెంట్ వాచ్ మై ప్రీవియస్ వీడియోస్ ప్లీజ్ గో అండ్ చెక్ ఇట్ అవుట్ నౌ సో ఇన్ అవర్ లాస్ట్ వీడియోస్ వీ డిస్కస్డ్ అబౌట్ హౌ టు క్రియేట్ ఫోల్డర్ అండ్ దెన్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఆప్షన్స్ అవైలబుల్ టు క్రియేట్ ఫోల్డర్ ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ వీ డిస్కస్ రైట్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు క్రియేట్ వన్ ప్రాసెస్ అండ్ దెన్ ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆప్షన్స్ అవైలబుల్ ఆన్ బిల్డ్ పేజ్ so i'm going to create one process under demo folder which we already created on our last video i'm creating one component the component type is process because we are going to create one process now i'm clicking on create so that one pop up will automatically come so we can discuss about this uh, pop up button i mean the pop up button is nothing but the start shape so we can discuss about this start shape later in our coming video so i'm just clicking on okay and now you can see the process got created here you can modify your process name however you want so i'm clicking on here and then giving name it as demo 1 after that i am clicking on save button process got created so if you see under demo folder you can see one process got created that is demo 1 and after process name you can see one option called folder button so by clicking on this folder button you can see under which folder your process got placed like demo folder or process library folder so those folder names you can see after that you have one button called add description so by clicking on this button you can see one space so here you can type overview of your process like uh, from which application you are getting data or to which application you are sending data so in between what you are doing so all those steps you can mention here so i'm just typing demo process okay so next we have create packaged component so once you complete the build process you need to deploy your process into any atom right so for before deploying you need to create one package for that particular process and next you can see one button called test with the help of this test button you can test your process before uh, deploying okay and next uh you can see options button so by clicking on that options button uh, one pop up window will appear so here you can see some of the options so we can look one by one first we have process mode so the drop down here general bridge and then low latency so the default process mode will be general if you want any other process mode as per your requirements you can change so and next we have another option called allow simultaneous executions uh, this one is not checked so by clicking this option it will allows multiple execution of this process to run at the same time and next we have auto capture error warnings to local logs so by checking this box the logs of the process are stored in the local atoms under logs directory after that uh, we have capture run dates by default this option got checked so this option will uh, records the last run date and last successful run date for this particular process and next we have purge data immediately option so by clicking on this option so whenever the process execution got completed immediately all the logs will purge so purge means deleted so next we have extensions option we can discuss about this later because extensions topic is important uh, to reduce the connection licenses issue so we can discuss about this later in our coming videos and next we have add notes button so if you want to tell something about anything on your process you can use note button and next we have show navigation so sh by clicking on that show navigation you can see how the process 
from start to end and next we have arrange button so by clicking on that arrange button you can arrange your process step by step clearly and coming to down you can see types of shapes so i have already discussed what is shape what type of shapes are available on bumi in our last videos if you haven't watched my last videos please go and check it out now so as i said earlier there are three types of shapes connector shapes execute shapes and then logical shapes you can see all execute shapes here by clicking on execute option you can see all shapes under logic button you can see all connectors whatever the connectors available on bumi you can see by clicking on the connector option and coming to down we have save button suppose you configured one process start to end i mean source to target system after that you want to save your process so by clicking on save button uh, you can save your process if you see here demo one saved successfully and next we have save and close so by clicking on this option the process will save and then close automatically so after that we have close if you don't want to save unsaved changes you just click on close button so that changes will revert and then process will close automatically so after that we have an option called revision history i'll explain in coming videos what is revision history and then how the revision uh, history works because you will get some questions on certifications uh, regarding this revision history if you like my video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever i post the video thank you all see you in my next video until then bye bye